All right, guys. I know the first first FNAF movie. Um, I missed the first FNAF movie trailer, but we have the official one by Blumhouse or whatever they are. They are. They've made pretty good movies, so let's check it out. And I'll give my um, I'll give my what I believe is what I believe is happening after. Hi, this is Mike. I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was still available. Yes. The security guard. I will take anything. This place was huge in the 80s with the kids. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. I will work and you will sleep. I understand. Give me your hand. All you have to do is keep your eyes on the monitor. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's, where fantasy and fun come to life. Okay. What the? You must be a new security guard. Can I uh, help you, officer? Have you met them yet? Met who? Them. Oh, In the 80s, kids went missing. The police searched Freddy's top to bottom. Hello? They never found them. That's why the place shut down. There are ghost children possessing giant robots. Thanks for the heads up. Technically, they're animatronics. What do they want? They want to make her <laughs> like them. Bobby! Like them? Tell me how to stop them. <laughs> it's too late. Oh. Bobby, go! <laughs> Too. Why don't oh. we always get the weirdos? Okay, that is a lot more different. So before they had like the red eyes. I'm trying to find a moment. All right, so it's time to give my analysis. So at the very start, uh, we get this. I believe because he brought his daughter. To work on the security guard. He cannot afford anything. He was desperate enough for a security job. For any job to get money to pay for rent or something. Because how he does this. The job that you offered was still available. Yes. The security guard. I will take anything. I will take anything. That is enough to tell you, and then how he brings his daughter. And you will sleep. I understand. Like, that is enough to tell you that this guy cannot, um... Based on the neighborhood he's in, it's not a pretty neighborhood. So then, we move on to... We get a bigger look of the area. Like... Back there. Oh, dude. Uh, let me... Back there, the pictures. They're still hanging up. Now, we'll skip ahead a little bit. So, he goes to turn on to see what is going on. Like, what's so special. And then, and that was pretty much my reaction. To Freddy Fazbear's, where fantasy and fun come to life. Okay. Okay, yeah, and then we get that lady there, who seems to know about the history of the children, of the five missing children, and how she clearly states... Officer? Have you met them yet? 
met who? Them. Like, that's enough to tell you she knows about this. She knows a lot more than she's holding on. And how they're saying... Okay, I need to stop that part. So it goes on. on. The power of Ramley turns on. But I think that's where, because in the very beginning... The security guard. I will take anything. This place was huge in the 80s with the kids. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. I feel like that's William he's talking about. Like, how he says the owner is not ready to let it go yet. That's a lot. Then, like, the lady and the old man, they're, they're, they know more than they're letting go. Because later we see, uh, hold up, I need to find a moment. I need to find the moment. That. That. Hold on. Let's see if I can enhance it. Yes, I have premium for a little bit. Oh. No, that does not help at all. Okay. There. No. Alright. Oh, dude, I'm trying to get that frame. Yeah, that's William right there. That's enough to tell you it's William. Right there. So I feel... Yep, that's William. You can see how the eyes, they're not robotic. Just look there a tiny bit here and you can kind of see... You can kind of see, um... Bloodshot eyes. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it, but that's what I'm seeing. But that's William Afton right there. And they earlier said that the lady said that she wanted they wanted to turn Abby, I think which is the little girl's name, into one of them. So I feel like the kids There are ghost children possessing giant robots. And then this moment, this moment, this moment here. That's why the place shut down. So the gang there, I think they were trying to end this nightmare, but Springtrap got them, of course. There are ghosts. And then this moment here, like, he's, I think, here's my theory, here's my theory. Because you see how he turns around, and they all run. I gotta shut off that for a sec, holy cow, uh, never mind. You see how it goes, like, how that kid is, so I think he's in a vision the night guard is in a vision where he's in the vision um William Afton. So we got Bonnie, we got Foxy, we got Chica, we got Freddy and I think Golden Freddy. I'm not sure. I know this is Bonnie, I know that's Foxy, I know that's Freddy and I think that's Chica. Oh, dude, this is really getting to me. Oh, this movie, I can't wait to watch it. It's on Halloween this year, I think, based on what they it said. I am excited because this movie looks so good. Like how they run. I think he was playing as William Afton. And I don't think it was... I don't think it was um just Bonnie and the gang that got him. Like this moment here. I think that's um spring trap. Spring traps work. Like this is the animatronics. Who is that actually? Hold up, I'm trying to recognize it. I can't tell. Maybe it's one of the um fun time animatronics. Uh, I should. I'm probably going way too ahead of the FNAF timeline. It's just how the face opens up. How the face opens up. It's a lot more of the fun time I'm trying. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. All right. Do you think? 
what are your theories on this trailer here? This came out an hour ago. I will send you the link in the description. Check it out. Also, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and spit dash that notification bell so you never miss out. And I'll see you all in the next one. I'm Sales the Gamer, signing off. Goodbye!